So lead code range some query to the immutable. So for this problem, you basically just need to implement the sum region method of the num matrix class. So this method takes in four parameters, the two points, the upper left corner of a square of a region and the lower right corner. And you need to return the sum of all of the elements in that region defined by these points. So for example, in this image here, this would be from the corner 1, 1 to 2, 2. And you'd need to return the sum of all of the elements inside of this square. So the key to solving this problem is noticing that if we pre-compute all of the sums, so for example, we want to compute the sum of the first row and then of the second row and of the third row and so on. And then we want to compute the sum of the first column, second column and so on, right? So after having done that, you have the pre-computation of the sum of all of the cells in your matrix. And so, for example, you could query that pre-computed matrix at this position right here, and that would give you the sum of all of the elements from the upper left corner of the matrix down to the cell that you are querying. So this would be the query uh, index 2, row 2, and column 2. And that would give you the sum of all of the elements in this square. If I query this cell, this would give me the sum of all of the elements in this rectangle. Same thing, if I query here, I would get the sum of all of these elements, right? And now that doesn't help you to implement this function because you're always adding from the upper left corner. So you wouldn't be able, for example, to get this region right here. The closest thing, however, that you can get, so you want this green region here, right? So you cannot have that because you only have from the upper left corner of the matrix. So you would have this. And so now what you can do is get this and then remove this column, which starts at the upper left corner. So you can do that, you can query that, and then remove this row up to here because again, it starts from the upper left corner. So you can have that just by querying this cell here. You would have the sum of these elements. Same thing for this column. Just query this cell and you will get the sum of all of the elements in this column. So again, you start with the sum from the upper left to the down right corner of your region. And then you remove the columns and the rows that you don't care about. And notice that this cell, in this case, gets removed two times. It gets removed one time when you remove the columns that you don't care about, and it gets removed once more when you remove the row that you don't care about. And so actually, to get the correct result, we need to add it back in, or it's going to be removed twice, which we don't want. We want it to be removed just once. Okay, so let's jump into the implementation. So the thing is we're going to have a helper method that will calculate the sum up to a certain row and a certain column. So again, we're gonna do we're gonna start with what I've said. So we just do exactly what the question is asking. So we get the sum up to the down right corner of the region that is being asked. And so yeah, we get the sum of all of the elements in the matrix from the top left corner of the matrix down to this point right here. And then we subtract all of the elements to our left that we do not care about and then we subtract all of the elements to our top above us that we do not care about right so we subtract same row because we're gonna go we, we want to go down there at the same level but then we want to remove all of the columns outside of the starting column so all of the columns that are to the left of our starting column of the region we do not want those and so we remove them by removing everything that is to the left of our column. So we remove one from our start column and all of the ones that are less than our column will, will go away by doing this. So in the example, for example, in the red region here, this would be equal to removing this column right here. And notice that if we didn't remove one from the column index, we would be also removing this column, which we don't want to remove because it is inside our region, okay? Perfect. And now we do the same, but for the region above our region, 
And so it's kind of the same thing, but we take the second column because we want to move we want to move to the right as the query is asking, and then we remove all of the ones that are above the first row. So it's the same concept, but kind of flipped. Okay, so again, we take as example the red region. We we'll want to go as far to the right as the region query goes, and then we want to remove everything that is above the first row. Okay, so these two rows here are going to be removed by doing this operation right here. And again, if we didn't do minus one here, we would also be removing the first row of our region, which we don't want to remove because it, it needs to be included in the sum, right? So you need to remove one from the row index. And then now, since we've done this, we have removed twice this region right here. This region has been removed twice because it has removed it has been removed once when we removed the column. And then it has been removed again when we removed these two rows from the total sum from the corner to down here. So we have added it only once, but we've removed it twice. And so now we need to add it back in so that the net sum is zero and we will be left with only the region that we care about. OK, so we will add back in that region. And to get that, you simply remove one from both of the indices and again if you don't remove one you're gonna get you're going to be adding back in some elements that haven't been removed twice so that would be not good and yeah that's it so this is the implementation of the sum region function no now all there is left is to implement this sum up to function which is clearly simpler than the sum of a region right like it's it's clearly true that getting the sum up to a certain point from the top left border of your matrix is easier than from a generic point because this is a more general question so now we have a specific question which is much easier to ask and in fact it, it is possible to answer this these function calls in o of one so in constant time and the way we're going to do this is with pre-computation so first of all here you have just a sanity check that you're not asking from something out of the matrix. For example, here we're removing one from row one. So if row one is zero, this might go to minus one. So it's just a sanity check, nothing special. And then from here is just, everything is just a implementation based. So you could implement this however you want, but here I decided to use a prefix sum method, which is a very typical way of doing range sum queries. And it's much easier to visualize with a array instead of a matrix but the concept is the same so in the constructor what you want to do is you want to pre-compute all of the prefix sums of your matrix so all of the sums from 0 0 2 and then all of the indices possible and that takes n squared but that's okay because then everything else is going to be o of 1 right so yeah this is just one way of doing it which is you start with a matrix and this is this is the quickest way that I find to have a matrix of the same size and then what you do is for every row you take the prefix sum of that row and this is just a very typical construction of the prefix sum of an array and you do that for every row so now all of the rows of your prefix sum are the prefix sum of the row of the matrix okay so for example, in this cell right here, you're gonna have the sum of all of the elements up to right here. In this cell right here, you're gonna have the sum of all of the elements up to here. And same goes for all of the other rows. So for example, in this cell here, you're gonna have five, which is four plus one plus zero. In this cell, you're gonna have four plus one plus one plus seven, okay? And now what you do, since you have those, you can do the same thing, but for the columns instead, and that will give you the 2D range prefix query. So you just do the same thing, but you do it with the columns instead of the rows. And since the rows have been already pre-computed with the prefix sum, now doing the same thing, but with the columns instead, will give you the matrix prefix sum. So now, after having done this second loop here, your matrix is going to be looking something like, if you, if you look at what is here, 
you're going to be getting the sum of these three elements and then these three and these three and these three because you've added this to this to this to this okay and same goes for all of the other cells so now all of the cells in your prefix sum matrix have the sum of all of the elements to the going to the top and to the left from the starting position okay and yeah that's what allows you to simply return the pre-computed result and this pre-computed results from the top left corner of the matrix allow you to get any region by simply following this formula that I've shown you on the picture. So yeah, I'll submit the solution to show you that it works. And the pre-computation, so the construction takes um, n times m, where n is the length of the matrix, and m is the amount of elements in one single row of the matrix. And then the query is actually O of 1, because since the problem is immutable, so you don't have you don't ever have to update the cell values, just a simple prefix sum over all of the elements is okay. You don't, you don't need a sophisticated data structure like a segment tree, a 2D segment tree, because you don't have to handle the updates. So this is why the title is called immutable. That's why it is important. And yeah, obviously it gets accepted. So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and bye.